Good to go, yeah? Okay, so last time we said we were going to talk about a recent DMT experience. So I'm going to talk you through what happened and kind of like how it went. Um, I've got somebody who wanted to experience the, the, the spiritual side of DMT, wanted to get this feeling of what we'd been talking about. And um, so we set up this meeting, this occasion, so that we could um, like experience it and, uh, and I could take him through and so that he would be comfortable, if you like, with what was happening. Um, we set up the setting, spoken about it on many occasions, looked into, gave him some things to look at and he went off and looked at it, made sure he was definitely comfortable with what was happening. Um, what happened in that experience kind of got changed through the evening where we were sat there a few things went on kind of kicked this setting and intent back a bit made it a little bit different to our you know it should be should be experienced however I'm not here to talk about his experience i'm here to tell you about mine so what happened was was at the end of the evening i decided that i would i would venture in and do what i usually do so I set up the vessel, imparted the molecule into my body, um, exhaled as you usually do, sat back and waited for the onslaught, which obviously came on very quickly. This um, compound, very clean and, and yet slight tinge of yellow so it was like lemony snickets um, the actual experience was lacking any um, any other alkaloids if you like there was no uh, plant kind of in part of the experience the visuals were very crystalline metallic very very DMT like to the point that it was much like the artist in what's his name, Paul? In Sedigris. In Sedigris, and it was the yeah, it was it was very similar to his artwork. The the geometrics were folding in, and what's happening for me now that I find there is where in that space it, I used to find it very difficult to focus on what I was seeing. It would always move or change as you're going through this space. Now I send, Now it tends to come across and then stop in front of me. So I can, I can really focus on the, on the geometrics, if you like, of what I'm seeing. There's no way I can explain it properly when I come back out because that stuff is just so, so different to what we see in our general reality. My brain has difficulty to, 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 to describe it to you right now. And that artist is the only way that I can pull that in into any scope. So as the as the the geometrics are coming around, I'm I'm able to focus on stuff, and then it's changing, and I'm going through it, and it's stopping, and I'm able to focus on stuff, and I do keep getting this green cross in a surrounding, and that was kind of there as well at the same time. But as I started to as I started to move forward through the experience. There's usually a point, especially when it's that kind of clarity with the DMT, when, when you kind of, the, it can grab you and it can like literally take you off into this place that you, you're looking to get to, the breakthrough experience. And as it was moving across, I'm, I'm thinking in my own mind that there's stuff going on in, in back in this reality and it's kind of holding me. So the setting wasn't really where we should have been, even though I decided to go in. But as this stuff's moving around, I'm kind of asking, you know, the entities, and I can feel a presence, I'm not quite sure what it is right then. But as this thing's moving around, I, and I'm kind of being one foot back in this reality, trying to step over into the other reality, and I'm literally seeing and thinking as I'm doing it that it's, it's literally like opening a shutter on a window, or that step into that realm is just, it's there in front of us the whole time, but you just got to open up your brain. The brain has to just change 
that little bit and you then start to perceive this stuff. And I'm asking this question like with a little bit of fear, right, am I gonna be grabbed now? Am I gonna be taken away? And, and the, the boy that's in those, that artwork, there's, there's usually a boy, I felt this presence, this entity come up behind me. And I'm asking the question again, can I, like, are you gonna take me away? Are you gonna like pull me off and, and show me something? And I felt this, um, this hand come up over the back of my head and literally an extended, one extended finger of the DMT boy came over the back of my head, tapped me on the forehead twice and just said, nope. And as that happened, I felt myself the, the, the DMT where I was gonna like literally feel like that breakthrough was coming, it, it started to stop the, the, and you kind of then know, know that the experience is, is drifting away. It took a bit of time, but it was kind of like, he was saying to me, you've, you've wanted to do it, you've come into this space, but it is not the right time, so I'm not gonna show you anything. It's not gonna give me this stuff that I'm searching for. It was good, I enjoyed what I was seeing in the visuals and I enjoyed what I got from it. I didn't get any peace and comfort or any understanding because the very next day I was my usual um, stroppy, arsy self when I woke up in the morning. So I didn't get any learning from it other than the fact that you must set that setting and that intent right and if it doesn't go the right way then you're not going to be given the you know, we're searching for a kind of information, some knowledge that we can bring back from that space. And it was basically saying to me, no, you need to wait because it's not the right, either the right time or, and you've done all this stuff in the wrong way. So, to make sure that you have the, the best experience, you must maintain this setting and intent. I've had it before where you've, we've, blazingly done it and it's literally gone not no it has literally taken us away and spanked our asses like we're a couple of small children <clears throat> what I did take from that was the clarity and the the crystalline effects of that realm of what I was seeing from that molecule and I found that very intriguing to look at and be able to actually focus in on it when it when it when it was there when it was moving rather than not being able to like maintain that clarity usually you either go straight through or it just keeps moving so unfortunately i can't tell you about an amazing breakthrough experience this time but still in that there's still lessons to learn there's still stuff that you have to understand about this the spiritual connection was possibly there, but it wasn't going to give me anything that I thought I needed to know. <clears throat> My report coming soon. What am I saying? Like and subscribe. Everybody, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, Share it and shit. <laughs> now, yeah. Everybody, like and subscribe to the channel, please. Share it and hit the notifications button. Uh, I'll be back soon with my report, and uh, we love you all. See you later.